Hello everyone, my name is Trooper and welcome back to a, another video to show you guys how to install custom clothing into your guys' 5M server. This is the fourth episode in the Creating an Ultimate 5M Server series. If you guys haven't already watched the first episode, which shows you guys how to actually create a good base for your 5M server, be sure to check that out in the playlist that I have made. As always, this series is sponsored by HG Network, which gives you guys the perfect place to get 5M server hosting and create a fully modded 5M server in just one click. There's more of that in the description below. But to actually get custom clothing installed, what you guys are going to want to do, hit the first two links down in the description below for native UI Lua and the emergency uniforms pack. You can install any other custom clothing you want, but I'm just going to be using this as an example since it includes tons and not just one. First thing you guys are going to want to do before installing the actual uniform pack itself, you're going to have to download native UI, which is a dependency for the EUP menu script. So just come to the releases page, click on it, and then download the source code. Open the file on up. You guys will see inside of here is native UI and then with all of our mod files in there like normal. All you guys are gonna to wanna to do, minimize to your desktop. And if you guys have followed along in the previous videos, we created our 5M server on our desktop. So open it on up, go to TX data, Cubicore framework or CFX default or ESX frameworks, depending on the framework you're installing. But in this series, we're using Cubicore go to resources and we already made a dependencies folder from the last video. If you guys haven't got one of those then just make one and ensure it in your server.cfg but we already did that in order to download the Luxart vehicle control system in the literal previous video. Open this one up and we're going to grab the native UI folder and drag and drop it in and since we've already ensured this folder right here we don't need to worry about ensuring it again so we are literally done with that. And now the next step is going to go back and hit the next link down in the description below for the emergency uniforms pack. We're going to scroll on down. First thing we're going to want to install is the EUP menu. Right click and open link on a new tab because otherwise it closes the 5M thing because it opens it in the same tab. Super annoying. And click download. Wait for it to install. Once it's done, just open the file on up and minimize it to the background. Go back to the emergency uniforms page. And we're going to go on down a little bit and we're going to download the EUP 8.1 server sided. Again, just right click and open link in a new tab and download it once more. And there you guys go. That is done. Nice and quick speeds on the HG Network VPSs, which is I'm using right here. This video series is sponsored by HG One, which is my website for literally a one stop shop for all your 5M server needs. This covers pre-built 5M server packages where you can install 120 plus mods in one click and server hosting for your 5M server. If you want a 5M package and you want to set up a server in this couple of minutes and get going with your friends with 120 plus mods, then just check out our 5M packages page. Just click this and you guys will see you have a couple of options. You have vMenu, Prime Essentials, Platinum Pro and Cubicle, which are all different for your different RP needs. And we also offer server hosting where you guys can host your server without using your own PC. You can keep it on 24 seven, not use your own IP. We even offer a server hosting option where we set up the whole 5M server for you. All of this is exclusively available at www.hgnetwork.one down in the description below. From here, all you guys are gonna do, we can close our browser on down now since we don't really need it open. And as long as we have both of these zips open on up here, EUP SUP and the EUP menu folder, we're going to place these side by side. We're going to open back up our 5M server directory. So again, just go into your Cubicle framework or CFX default ESX framework and then resources. Right click, new folder, brackets. I'm going to do clothing. This is a nice bit of organizing. So now we have a subcategory folder and we can put all of our clothing mods into here. Open it on and up. Go inside of the EUP menu folder. I'm going to grab this EUP UI folder and just drag and drop it on in. Close that zip on down, we no longer need it. Go inside of the EUP SUP folder, grab the EUP stream folder and drag and drop it in. This folder includes literally all the clothing files, so it does take a little bit longer since it is bigger. The EUP UI folder is literally just a menu, so it is pretty small, as you guys can see by the size of 183 kilobytes. Once we've done that, we're gonna go back to the resources folder. We're gonna copy the name of our clothing subcategory folder, go back to our framework folder, Open our server.cfg on up. Scroll on down to your last ensure line. Enter a new line. 
I could do a hashtag for a bit of organization. I'm going to create a subtitle. It's going to be clothing. So anything we ensure clothing related, we'll put behind here. Type ensure and then paste in the name of our clothing subcategory folder. Now anything inside of that is automatically insured. File and save your changes. Scroll on up to the top here. Go to SV Max Clients. Delete 48 and put 10. And this means we do not have to pay for 5M's Patreon. We get the clothes streaming feature for free. Obviously, it does limit your slots to 10. If you want more than 10, then unfortunately, you will have to pay 5M about $15 per month on their Patreon for the Argentin, Argentin something subscription. Once you guys have done that, we can file and save and close the server.cfg on down. We can close the server directory on down. All we need to do is start our server on up. Once it's booted up, we can load in to 5M. Once we're in the 5M menus, we're just going to connect to our 5M server. So press F8, type connect, put in your VPS IP or your home IP, depending on if you're server hosting, press enter, and you'll start connecting to your 5M server. Just load in here and we should be good to actually use the new clothing mods we've added. Once you guys have loaded in, all we need to do is press T for our game chat and do slash EUP. And that'll bring up our EUP menu right here. To stop it from spinning because it does that by default, I guess to sort of show you what you're wearing, just move your mouse and it will stop. And if we scroll through here, we've got tons of different categories of clothing that we can do. See, I told you it wasn't just police. This is absolutely tons of stuff here, even parking enforcement. Select one and just press enter. And you guys can see, there we go. We've got some custom clothing into our game for parking enforcement, FIB, there are so many different things here. We've got postal services as well. It could be female, male, literally everything you want. You've got it. Obviously, if you guys didn't do the part where we limit our slots to 10, it's probably going to show us mismatched because you haven't got the EUP clothes streaming thing that EUP needs. You'll have to buy Phylem's Patreon in order to unlock it without limiting your slots to 10. Check out hnetwork.1 down in the description below to set up a fully modded 5 server with 120 plus mods in one click and get server hosting all in one.